All right, today we are out at Austin Badger Mountain Bike Trail. Here's a sign for it. It's a brand new mountain bike trail in Medina County, or Mountainville County, I guess. It is, I think, three and a half miles, if I remember right. We'll find out when we get out on there. But it's basically like a pump track. It's got a whole bunch of rollers, a whole bunch of berms. Looks pretty cool on all the videos, so we're going to get out here and check out this new trail. A lot of you know that I ride a Trek Marlin who watch my mountain bike videos. But as you can tell, this is not a Trek Marlin. If you've seen my last video of me bike packing, I was on this guy with a lot of frame bags. Now it doesn't have any frame bags. This is the Surly Wednesday. Wednesday. Surly. And yes, it has, let's see if I can get it, Fatties Fit Fine. This has four inch tires, the Surly Nates, and it's a load of fun. So we're gonna ride this today out here on the trail and see how it can handle this type of train. All right, so this video is gonna start off in the parking lot. We're gonna work our way up to the trail. It's pretty easy to get to. It's just right up this little bridge here. trail does get you started right away though I don't know which way they want you to go right here the sign says left so we're just gonna stay on this I don't really want to erode things that don't need eroded so but it's one heck of a climb to get up to the trail it's a little wake up your legs pretty quick And here's the trailhead right here. Real simple to get to. You ain't gonna miss it. So here we go. There's some water already. That was nasty. There is a lot of water on this trail. I really don't think I should be riding on it. We'll just take it easy for right now. even more water holy crap all right I will say one thing, this bike throws a lot of mud at you. These tires are huge and they like to throw mud.
more mud. Holy crap. This is not good. All right, the reason why I stopped was, yes, I did look at the trail report before I came out here, and I just got through looking at it again to make sure it was still open. They said there's a few wet spots, but ride it as long as the weather holds out. Well, it hasn't rained, so I'm out here. So please don't think that, oh, he's riding the trail and ruining it. He's one of those mountain bikers. I'm not. I looked at the trail report first, so I'm just gonna take it easy through the wet spots and ride what I can. And this is a fairly new trail, so sometimes it's good to ride it when it's a little wet to try to help pack everything down a little bit. So you got your good and your bad. Like getting a big old hunk of mud in your mouth. I'm gonna have to definitely get some better fenders for this thing. Man. Alright.
So there's definitely some climb in here. I don't know if you'd want to bring a full out downhill bike. You might not make it very far. But when you get to the downhill stuff, it'd be pretty cool, I'm sure. That was a bumpy berm. Sliding down the hill a little bit. I think once you get this trail dialed down, find all the lines, I think this is going to be a really, really cool trail to ride. There is an awful lot of climbing here, though. I will say that.
Went way too slow through that. Just started spinning. Here, I suppose. Oh, here we go. Well, they got a little workout gym right there. They got a, I don't know if you've seen it or not on the video. Try to, they got a little rock wall. A whole bunch of pull-up bars and stuff. That's kind of cool. Seventy one. That's a big jump. So as much as I would really like to set up different shots and stuff like that for you guys to see more of this course, I just think it's way too friggin' muddy right at the moment. And you're just gonna stay right there on the chest mount. I really don't feel like getting covered in mud walking around in this stuff. It's bad enough I'm getting it thrown all over me with these tires, but um yeah, I'll definitely 
it might you know thaw out enough and freeze and thaw out where all this water disappears this winter and it'll be pretty cool to ride if it's open but as of right now I definitely wouldn't recommend coming out here for a little while it's just gonna tear this trail up even more like right there that's a big rut already that's gonna be hard to get rid of But I will say I will definitely be back to this trail really catches my attention I wish I would have came out earlier when it was drier but it'll be here forever so I'm not too Really nice thing I like about this trail is it seems like it's gonna build your endurance up a lot you got a lot of climbs and then you got a lot of areas where you're gonna to want to pedal fast to like hit the jumps and stuff and you're gonna need a lot of endurance to be able to do that so it's definitely pretty cool and the best part is it's something different in Ohio I don't think there's anything really like this outside in Ohio. We don't have too many jump courses like this at all. It's just mainly cross country stuff. I will say I'm glad I brought this fat tire bike today because my other bike would have been super squirrely. I probably would have fell down a couple times already. This bike's a tank. They actually got a whole bunch of workout equipment around this walking trail. That's kind of neat. They got some pull-up bars and some different stuff right up here to my right. I guess that's it. Uh... Hmm. Just right up here, I guess, and then you're done. Yeah, I guess that is the end of the trail. All right, so I know it was really muddy out and I wasn't going fast or doing anything. Sorry about that. But at least you guys got a view of the trail, what it looks like, what potential it has, if it's something you might be into. If you guys like these sort of videos, please subscribe to my channel, stay up to date on everything that I do. And as always, that like button is always appreciated.
all right well i will definitely be back here definitely a really cool place can't wait for it to dry up a little more until next time all right there is one thing i forgot to mention at the beginning of the video i said i think it was like three point something miles on my computer i'm looking at right now it's saying 3.5 miles so it's three and a half miles one way so you can even come out here and do a couple laps you know it's not too far so do one lap get a feel for it get your legs worked in and then hit the next lap even harder so catch you on the next one